Yo! By the title of this video, it says Elephant Foam, how to make it. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. So you know, first you guys gotta check me out, look at my fresh face, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so what you need, you're gonna need some hydrogen peroxide, some dish soap, some yeast, preferably not a yeast infection, food coloring of your choice. I like yellow, so I chose yellow. Some warm water in this cup right here. So what you wanna do first is get your hydrogen peroxide. Get a cup, pour like half a cup. I don't know how much that is. That looks like half, looks right. And then with this, you're gonna to wanna to grab some dish soap. We got our dish soap right here. And you wanna pour the dish soap in here. One fourth of a cup. Sorry if my nails are dirty, I was working on my car. Boom, look, we got that green liquid right there, baby. Pretty nice. Boom. Nice. And we're gonna put some food color in here. This dish soap is green, so yellow, that makes blue, right? Green and yellow. We got green dish soap, and then here's the food coloring. Seems about right. Yeast. So I was dumb, so I'm gonna pour everything back in here. And then we're gonna put the hot water in here. I messed up, sorry. It's not a good how-to video on my part, sorry. We got our hot water. We're gonna go ahead and add the yeast. I added the yeast, I'm gonna go ahead and stir it around with this uh, Q-tip. Living the flicker there is. Living the flicker there is. Okay, now was the big reveal. We're gonna have to pour this into here. Very nice. So we got it in the tub. We're gonna see how this turns out. And we're gonna mix it right now. Nothing's happening. Yep, it's still going. It's going. Kaboom! Bruh, it was supposed to be bigger. It actually smells good. Like the dish soap. Very nice. It's like slow moving magma, dude. I mean, it worked, but not as successfully as I wanted. I mean, it's still pretty, like, it's still going, like. Woo! Caramel fra frappuccino. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this up, and then we're gonna try another test, another run. I mean, this was successful. My measurements were a bit wrong, sorry for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put in a, like a Coca-Cola bottle or something, so you just spout up and then the whole ceiling can get dirty. Very nice. Whoa, look at that. Anyone want a banana smoothie? So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Screen's kind of sideways. But with a Coke bottle, and then I'm gonna, once I pour everything in there, I'm gonna close it so all the pressure builds up, and I'm gonna try to open it, and it's gonna go so I went and added more hydrogen peroxide. You know, we got our little concoction going on here. So we got our Coke bottle here. I'm gonna attempt to put a cap on it, but if it goes boom faster than I can put a cap on it, then we're gonna have a problem. You guys should see it spout from here. You guys should see it activate from here. Let's go. I got the cap just in case. Bro, all the yeast is still in here. Look at this. Bro, so much yeast. It's time to put the yeast in here, though. Bro, this is such a fail. Okay, it's going up slowly. You know what? You know what that means, right? We can go ahead and cap this. Shake it all up. You can feel the pressure building. It's gonna be like a nuclear bomb in here. Three, two, one. Oh my! Oh my, bro, <laughs> dude. I should have let that go in my face, what up? Ah! <laughs> the whole bathroom's dirty. Look what happened in here. It's like SpongeBob had a good time in here and you just released everything, look at this. My face. It's supposed to go bigger, but I was like, yeah, whatever. So I just shook it up and it's just crazy everywhere. Very nice. All right, I gotta go clean this up because my mom's gonna kill me. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one.
stuff on my hair? Yeah, there is. Bye. At least since it's like hand wash soap, whatever dish soap, it'll clean off easy. Yay. I thought that I warned you.